day three of NAMM 2019. Jason here for Red Dragon Guitars, who are a big Jackson guitar uh, dealer. They sell heaps at Red Dragon out of North Carolina. And I'm standing here with the man, the rock guitar, or metal guitar god. Uh, I forgot my name. What is it? No. Wait, I think it's uh, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, ex no. exactly. <laughs> I'm Chris Broderick. You wish you were Eddie Van Halen. I, well, doesn't everybody? Hey, now, did you see I went to 5150 two years ago and did a video with Eddie at 5150? Yep, I did. That you was awesome. You probably don't know this yet, but two nights ago, I got the first interview in 10 years with John Sykes. Oh, wow. That was I'd insane. Like to see that. Well, I'll send you the link later. Cool. So, being that you're a big Jackson player and the Red Dragon customers love Jackson guitars, since leaving Megadeth, it's great that Jackson didn't do what some companies do, and they're like, dude, you're not in the biggest band anymore, we don't want to know you. Right. So yeah, let's talk about the relationship with you and Jackson. It's It's been awesome. You know, I actually uh, contacted them before I left and talked to them about, you know, me potentially leaving and what they thought, and they were just like, you know, we've got your back, don't worry about it. And uh, yeah, they were very cool to me. They have been since. They're, you know, they moved my product line. I think I've got 12 different variations of guitars at Jackson that you can buy. That's is, incredible. Yeah, which is insane. I, I feel kind of like a butthole for, you know, having that many, but I, I'm quite proud of how much they've supported me and, you know, really made me a part of their family. Well, if the fans of you and of their company are into it, why the hell wouldn't they? Absolutely, yeah. So I, I just hope I'm doing them justice as well. Definitely. So after having left Megadeth, obviously Keycore's moved into the role and you knew Keycore a little bit previously and I'm friends with Keycore as well. Um, what do you think about Keycore as a fit with the band? Uh, I think, you know what, he goes in there and he tears it up. He, he, uh, he fits the, I think he fits the style well. Yep. And uh, he's a phenomenal player, of course. Yeah. You know, and so. Well, you know Slatch yourself, mate. Well, thank you very much. I yeah. really dig like your, your pick that you use and you got your hybrid picking thing going on as yeah. well. That's pretty cool, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That comes from, that stems from all my classical guitar influence. And, you know, I, I noticed that there's a trend right now for a lot of, you know, chicken picking and uh, finger yep. style picking in metal guitar. So I wanted to really start developing that as well. One of my other mates who's really good at that is Ryan Knight, used to be in the Black Dahlia Murder. Man, he's yeah. released a country album. His chicken picking is ridiculous. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I haven't heard it, but I know who Ryan Knight is. Yeah, yeah. so fans of Ryan Knight out there from Black Dahlia Murder, definitely get his album. He's got a solo album. Out. I can't remember the name. I got it on my iPhone. And man, it's phenomenal. Now, your relationship with Ernie Ball, what's the story there? So they've just been phenomenal to me as well. They, um, you know, they've been my string uh, manufacturer since probably the early 2000s and uh, you know they always support me as soon as I need something they take care of me they'll give me uh, you know the send stuff out next day and I love their strings because you know they're uh, they sound awesome they feel great you can get them anywhere you know what I mean I just use, I just use the the slinky greens that's what I've always loved and and even with all of these other newer technology kind of strings with the, the coded strings and also the and everything titans. Else. Yeah, you know what, I just like, I like the simple slinkies. Because You're a meat and potatoes kind of guy. Yeah, well, and also, you know, I find that a string doesn't need to last longer than its tone will. True. So once the tone starts sounding bad, change your strings, and, and you don't have to spend so much with just the nice regular set of slinkies. Well, that does help when you go to the guitar tech to change them for you. Yes, yes, but <laughs> no, I don't have that luxury these days. Not but. quite the same. So tell, tell the folks out there one last thing, Active Defiance, what's going on? Tell yeah. them about how it came together, because not everybody's caught up with the news. There's so much going on these days. Right, right, yeah. So we've been out since 2015, and we're doing, uh, we've done two CDs. The first one was called Birth and the Burial. The second one is Old Scars, New Wounds. And uh, we've been touring on that now for the past year and uh, we're getting ready to go out in... Hi, Jeffrey. <laughs> and Jeff, this is oh, the Red Frank. Dragon guitars. Good so come on in. Man. Yeah, he's Jeff signing here at Ernie Ball with me. How you doing, man? Nice Good to see, to see you. you. Hi. I'm, I'm hey, Jake. Congratulations. Thank you so much.
Yeah, I'll show, I got some pictures I want to show you. All right. Yeah. I'm Jason. That John told you about. We're gonna catch up. I know. Yeah. John Q. That's so funny. Well, look. This is another Red Dragon alumni. This is the mighty. Go and say your own name. I'm Jeff Loomis. Nice to see you. I said I was Eddie Van Halen. Did you? I'm uh, Ingve Malmsteen. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hanging out with Eddie Van Halen and Ingve Malmsteen, a combination we never thought we'd see. <laughs> I could throw my pick at him. <laughs> pick that up, it's worth money. It's a, you could sell it on eBay. You know what, I'm going to get this to John and we'll make sure that one of you Red Dragon customers out there that watches this video, that leaves a comment, somehow or another raffles this pick off to you. Right on. Yeah, yeah that's a real thing. That's the that. real thing. Uh, 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 so yeah, sorry, you were just saying about Active Defiance. Yeah, so we've been touring on that. We're going to be going out this spring again for a, another month here in the States. And it's a great lineup. I can't tell you who it is yet because the headliner hasn't announced, but we're super excited about it. Very nice. And just quickly from you, Jeff, what's going on with you, mate? I have some time off right now. Yeah, I'm working on my third solo album. and. Um we go out again with Arch Enemy in March in Japan, so keeping busy. That's where I live. Yeah, so come and see us play. Definitely. Well, I see Michael. It's funny because like, I see Michael roaming around Japan from time to time because, you know, he's got connections. Let's call it connections on camera over there. He likes it there a lot. Yeah, he does. Well, I bumped into him. I was out front of the shop that I used to work at. I was like, you should come into the store and have a look around. He's like, oh, okay, because, you know, Michael's just Michael. You know what he's like. Absolutely. He's a great guy. Um, we're going to continue the tour campaign for Will to Power for the rest of the year, and then after that, work on a new album. So that's the plan. Excellent. Well, from NAMM 2019, day three, I'm here with Jeff Loomis and Chris Broderick. What a score that was for you Red Dragon customers. Let's continue with more videos and enjoy the show. Rock on. Right. Oh, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much.